Hi, we're back for another week. I'm Fran Dummett, and I'm glad to see you all. I am going to share my screen at this point in time. So this week, we're talking about transforming pain. This is part of the winter meditation series, Aging Gracefully. I am sponsored by the Village in Howard, and we would love you to register on the calendar for the meditations, or if you want to partake in some of our activities, whether it be volunteering, office work, service work, or committee work for our groups. So my day started backwards. Is this you? I wake up tired and go to bed awake. I'm still tired from yesterday's tired. Today isn't looking so good, and I've already used up tomorrow's tired. Like this one. If I woke up in the morning and nothing hurt, I would think I was dead. And sometimes it takes me all day to get nothing done. The best one is, my superpower is making people believe I'm normal functioning human being. Yeah, I'm hurting, but on goes the mascara and the lip gloss. That's right. I'll be the prettiest wreck you've ever seen. I think that's a good introduction to our topic this week, which is pain describing the risks, alternative treatments, then a wonderful script, relaxation and pain that I used for many of my uh, childbirth classes, teaching people what to do when they were in pain or had contractions. Music is winter wonderland since we are in the middle of winter and then our candle and silence. So I want you to think about, have you experienced any pain, whether it be chronic pain or just regular old pain? I want you to think about the times you were feeling it or if you are feeling it now. So what does chronic pain feel like? I want you to close your eyes Imagine it and get your body into what it's feeling like when you're in pain. What goes on when you're in pain? Is your breath shortened? Your fists tightened? Jaw tense? And when you have chronic pain, it might be aching or burning, or shooting, squeezing, stiffness, stinging, throbbing. That's what people feel like sometimes when they're in pain. And chronic pain can lead to insomnia and tension, fatigue, discomfort, exhaustion, bunches of medicines, If you have chronic pain, um, there are certain risk factors. For instance, for migraines, it might be your genetics. Uh, if you're obese, uh, you have might have arthritis and extra pressure on your joints. And depending how old you are, that arthritis and neuropathy can occur. So we might, all of us in this group might have some pain at some time, sometimes chronic, sometimes not. For chronic pain though, there are more risk factors if you've had a previous injury, like uh, if you've had a traumatic injury, you can develop more chronic pain, or if you had a job that was physically strenuous, or maybe you have frequent stress and you get post-traumatic stress disorder, or if you've smoked, you, might, you are at greater risk 
for developing medical conditions of chronic pain. Well, chronic pain, there's a cycle. You have pain, then there's muscle tension, reduced circulation, muscle inflammation, reduced movement, which causes pain and goes round and round and round. As I said, I taught childbirth classes and we always had the fear, tension, pain cycle by Grant Lee Dick Reed in the first uh, chapter. Because when women are going through having a baby, their contractions appear to be painful. And so you want to lessen that perception of pain. So what we always said is for the fear part, you educate. And so that's what we're doing right now. For the tension, I love it. We do relaxation because again, those muscles tighten up, that jaw, that blood, it makes it more painful. And then for the other pain, we did focusing, breathing, massage, support with other people. So this is one of my most favorite uh, sessions this week, teaching this, because I've been teaching it all my life. Well, how I want you to think about how you have coped with pain in the past. What have you done? <clears throat> you're writing it down and get more intense into it as I said when you think about this session afterwards you might come up with even more answers how do you cope with pain okay. well some people do alternative treatments absolutely lots of people in this group do acupuncture for me I love aromatherapy that anytime I can tell I go into a store or I smell somebody and it smells really good, or I had a candle on, I feel really much better about that. That are essential oils. Biofeedback, it tweaks the way your body works, influencing such things as your heart rate, your breathing and muscle tension. Or maybe you've done hypnotherapy or hypnosis. Of course, a lot of us already are doing mindfulness. I like this next one. We love music, art, or pet therapy. That detracts us, has us focusing on something else. Our brain patterns are a one-way street. So if you are doing mindfulness, focusing on something else, or smell, or acupuncture, or looking at art, or listening to music, that's kind of going in that stem. So you want to stop the feeling of pain in that one. Of course, people do Reiki or healing touch. And we're going to do relaxation techniques today. And there's, of course, massage and meditation. Of course, another way to cope with pain is medication. We don't want to take as much as we can. So we want to take as least as we can. So that would be um, something to be aware of. You're coping with pain, you get therapy, you make lifestyle changes. Don't avoid smoking. Don't do too much. Create a daily schedule that includes a few priorities and take time for rest and self-care. Eat that healthy diet, drink good water, get enough sleep, manage your stress, exercise regularly. Maybe join a support group for chronic pain to learn from other people with similar conditions. Limit your alcohol, which can cause more problems with sleep and pain. And definitely, I feel people who think positively appear to lessen the sensation of pain. I like Thich Nhat Hanh's quote here. Letting go gives us freedom, and freedom is the only condition for happiness. If in your heart we still cling to anything, anger, anxiety, or possessions, we cannot be free. So if we have a lot of anger about our pain, it's not going to help, okay? So let us begin, whoops, our time of reflection. Settle your body into a comfortable position. And release those shoulders away from your ears. Unclench your jaw. Drop your tongue from the roof of your mouth. 
and just take deep breaths in and out. Relaxing your body from head to toe. And let's look and listen to a relaxation script. Relaxation of any type is an effective management for pain. People who do relaxation exercises are better able to tolerate pain and they actually feel less pain. Remember, we just talked about that pain, tension, fear cycle. In other words, relaxation exercises can take at least some of your pain away and make the pain you do have a little easier to tolerate. In this relaxation script, I will guide you to focus on observing and accepting and then transforming your pain. Then focus the mind in the meditation to provide physical and mental relaxation and pain relief. So now, find a comfortable position, making sure that your back is supported. You're either laying down or sitting in a firm chair with a head support is ideal. As you settle into a comfortable position, just notice how you're feeling in this moment. Without trying to change anything, observe your body and mind. Pain management begins with observation. Now, where is the most of your tension stored in your body? Neck and shoulders, arms and hands. Where? And where is your pain located? What part of your body now is most relaxed? Take a deep breath in and now exhale. Breathe in and out. Continue to breathe slowly and smoothly. Now continue this relaxation with a passive attitude of observing. Do not try to make anything happen. Notice how your body feels. Passively observe, not trying to change anything. Simply take note of how your body feels. Take a few moments now to think about a pain experience you have had. You may not be in pain right now. Just observe the state of your pain in this moment. How does your body feel in this pain experience? You know, it's always changing from moment to moment. A moment from now, you will feel slightly different from the way you feel right now. Just observe. Observe as each moment passes.
Although pain is unwanted and difficult to tolerate, try for the next few moments to regard your pain with acceptance. Accept the way you are feeling right now, physically and emotionally, whether positive or negative. Allow your body and mind to just be. Accepting, observing. You might want to repeat some affirmations with me now. I accept myself. I accept this pain. I experience the whole of it. I accept it. Letting go of the need to control or to change in this moment. I accept the pain. I release myself from the need to do anything except just be. I accept myself. Now that you have repeated some affirmations, just relax for a few moments and let go. Just be. There is nothing you need to be doing in this moment besides accepting this moment just as it is. Observe again your pain and notice that you can alter the pain slightly. See if you're able to transform the feeling just a little. Picture the pain and notice its exact location. Imagine that instead of pain, this area feels cool, even a bit cold, as if you have applied a comfortable ice pack to this area. Feel the coolness. This area might even start to feel a little less cold, closer to the way the rest of your body feels. Now focus in on this area and imagining a slightly different feeling of your choice. Oh, you may wish to imagine the sensation of pleasant tingling, warmth, or soft but firm, comfortable pressure. Imagine this sensation now. Imagine the sensation replacing just a tiny bit of the pain and a tiny bit more of the pain, more and more. Feeling this new sensation growing pleasantly. providing some relief, allowing you to relax. <clears throat>
take a deep breath in and out. In <clears throat> and out. Continue to breathe slowly and rhythmically as you meditate to calm your mind. You can choose any phrase you want to focus upon for this meditation, for this management relaxation. This will be your focus word. I'll use the word peaceful here. Focus your attention on this word with each breath. And every time your thoughts drift, focus in again on this word. Don't worry about making anything happen or doing this meditation in a certain way. Whatever happens is right for you at this moment. <clears throat> Keep an attitude of passive acceptance. Just accept the state you are in and continue to focus your mind on the word you will be repeating. Breathe in, peace. Breathe out, full. In, peace. Out, full, peace, full, peace, full, peace, full, peace, full. Continue to repeat this word in your mind, focusing your attention on this word wherever your thoughts wander. Keep repeating your focus word. When your thoughts drift, focus your attention again on your focus word. Peace, full. Peace, full. Focus your mind again on your focus word. As thoughts enter your mind, as they will, just turn your attention back to your focus word. Peace. Hope. Peace. Hope. Peace. <clears throat> Take note of how your body feels now. See how relaxed your muscles are. Notice how calm your mind is. Enjoy this feeling of relaxation for new moments. You can keep this feeling of relaxation with you as you return to your regular activities. Memorize this peaceful, relaxed feeling so you can return to this state wherever you need to. And now for our relaxing winter wonderland music.
and invocation. Remember that you are water. Cry, cleanse, flow, let go. Remember that you are fire. Burn, tame, adapt, ignite. Remember that you are air. Observe, breathe, focus, decide. Remember that you are earth, ground, give, build, heal. Remember that you are spirit, connect, Listen, no, be still. And now, our time for silence.
May you be at peace. May your heart remain open. May you awaken to the light of your own nature. May you be healed. May you be a source of healing for all beings. A Tibetan Buddhist prayer. Slowly reawaken your body and breathe in and out. Feel your mind and body becoming more awake and alert. Move your arms and legs and stretch your muscles to let them awaken. Sit for a moment with your eyes open. Observe the room around you. When you are ready, return to your usual activities, keeping with you a sense of calm and relief. Thank you for this time of reflection, of transforming pain. Next week, Harmony. Namaste. Hope to see you next week. Thank you. Take care.